that game. Davis with just over two minutes left to go here. Yeah, I'm going to continue to watch Davis. Red. Really want to see his potential comeback here. Oh, that's a big face rocket. He can't go back in, though, because he's really hurt, and the plasma would tear him to pieces. With uh, 20 damage per blue ball, it's bad news all around. Now, Rubix is able to get that mega health away, and the armor isn't coming up here for another three seconds. The poil yellow is also up right now. Davis is circling around to get it. And, oh, look at this play by Rubix. A little bit of defensive play. I think he was sitting on top of that yellow for a while, and he's been able to get both yellows. This is really big. This might win Rubix this fight. He needs to hit it right here. No luck. Yeah, he's he's upset with him about that. He's like, ah, I missed so much LG. And actually, Davis getting knocked down to one health there, you know. He's going to have to spend some time getting back into the fight, but right now, time is not what he has. Three frags with a minute and a half left to go, but just the fact that he's relatively weak here, and Rubix is just going to be playing the plus back game and just going defensive rockets nice. on him, keeping Davis off of this armor. Davis is actually disregarding the armor, trying to go in for the kill, but with that rail, it was not exactly the right position for it. But, oh, there it is. He lost a little bit of LG tickle. Double jump. Oh, nades! Oh, oh, he's going to go for a double rocket jump. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he got lucky. He got lucky. Wow. Had that second nade hit, it would have been all over. But now he's got a chance to move in here. 50 health, 39 armor as he exits. Rubik's really hurting. But uh, Swoops is saying if Rubik's wins, we can cast our match. All right. There we go. That, that's awesome. We won't even have to switch servers. Beautiful thing. Woo. Much love there. All right, so we're going to basically see what Davis can put together. This is the last chance. Oh Rubix is fighting for his life. Down he goes. Platter. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Davis needs to find Rubix to tie this thing up. There was Let's no see if he can do it. reason for that situation to come up. And now Davis is looking for this last frag. He, he is found him. frantic. We hear it at Plasma Yellow, but Rubix is running away. Davis is chasing, and that means that with the chase, he's not going to get it. Wow, he does oh, hit the rail. How much health did he? Oh my god. I wasn't able to see it. How much it. health did he have? I wasn't able to. I was trying to switch as the buzzer sounded. Me neither. Oh man. Uh, what a great game, though. 7 to 6 on ZTN. Rubix is able to take down Davis. And we will see Rubix now face off against Swooped. But oh man, it's going to be good times. Fantastic. About 15 HP, Robert says. Fan fucking tastic. That is great stuff. Oh man, I love it. I love it, love it. Both guys got an impressive. The uh, a lot of spam in that in that particular match. Rubik's actually with the uh, very low 18% accuracy overall, but he was spamming rockets and nades like there was no tomorrow. So uh, sometimes just uh, all you got to do is uh, just keep shooting. Eventually your shots will hit. <laughs> we saw some great maneuvers though between those guys. I three Charles down to the place. wire. Both maps, so great stuff. I want to see this game though, because I want to see how Swoops. I want to see what kind of shape he's in, because with a couple of the no shows, I think that there's some really interesting opportunities for Swoop to really come out big today. So, uh, this is basically our chance to see what kind of shape he's in, and uh, uh, basically, uh, I, I have to say I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think that Swoop is uh, one of those players that, in like the last maybe two months has really kind of come into his own. Uh, we've seen him both in Capture the Flag and King of the Hill, um, winning right and left, uh, really helping out his team in Capture the Flag, being a really critical asset there. But then also, uh, when it comes to, uh, excuse me, when it comes to duels, um, whenever he's played in King of the Hill, he's been quite strong, so it should be really good times. DM13 dropped, T7 dropped, T4 picked. Ooh, there's a lot of love coming for Swooped in IRC right now. So this is going to be a match to see, and we're going to see this get going here as soon as we get the rest of the maps going off here. But in the meantime, more coffee, more muffins, and more Quake. <laughs> Vertical Vengeance, let's do a quick overview. One yellow armor here, teleporter that leads to Mega Health, which spawns here. The other yellow armor spawns right here. Below it is a rail gun. Okay, the rocket launcher is through these doors. This is kind of the, uh, oops, kind of the center area of the map, and um, 
in this sort of center column room, uh, you can basically bet a lot of times that if you do a lot of damage against your opponent, there's very few health in this map, so let's take a look. There's, there's two 25s there. There's a 25 here, 25 here, 25, and 25. That's it, folks. That's it for health. So if you do damage against your opponent, they pretty much have to come into this room. Or, sorry, whenever you're specking and you go through the, uh, the doors, it skips you around. But anyway, um, you can make some assumptions about where the player is going to go based on how much damage you've done. So uh, this is a very rail heavy map. Also really critical to note that Railgun is on a delayed spawn. So I want to say it's on this map, is it 15 seconds? Possibly. And me, I do like delayed spawns. Uh, it just, I mean, especially in the Warsaw duels that we've been covering, all of the important items, mega health, red armor, uh, anything, it's all 15 seconds before it comes up. So it means that the first 15 seconds of the game, there can be a lot of variety with the way that that can go down. I mean, either, you know, the two players can kind of choose their side of the map and, and take that, or one player can go really aggressive and try to get everything for himself. So it really adds a different layer to it, and I think we're going to be seeing that here on T4 with the delayed spawn for the railgun, uh, just because... Well, it, as you said, it, it's such a real heavy map, and it really just adds a lot of control factor to it. Yeah, it, it really is kind of the weapon to get. Although, although um, players that are really adept with rockets can use that defensively, and, and you see a lot of a lot of long-range corner play, but closing that gap uh, becomes really essential for the rocket player, unless they're playing a very spammy game um, where they're basically timing the movements of their enemies and trying to catch them as they turn corners with rockets. So um, the shotgun's also really useful. Um, also really useful on this map. It's it's another weapon that, you know, basically it's a close range railgun if you think about it. Um, and because this map is so tight, so claustrophobic in a lot of ways, uh, getting away from your opponent can be very difficult. So the shotgun really becomes an asset because you can um, very quickly maneuver and get the drop on your opponent and uh, you know again closing that gap is such a critical thing to uh, have happen and uh, when you do that from the shotgun is I would say probably one of the strongest uh, weapons on this map um, because again you know, if, if the, if the uh, player you're facing off against if they miss their railgun shots you go close range with a shotgun you get you know two blasts so they're one uh, given the reload times of those weapons, so uh, close range, very deadly. We'll see some F3s in just a second. Mm, so these guys are readying up, and we're going to be seeing them get going here pretty soon, hopefully. But you know what, T4, no amount of warming up is going to prepare you for what is going to come. And a lot of speculation in IRC, you know, it is a very aim-heavy map, especially with the angle play. Um, but of course opponent knowledge and sound knowledge and being able to take your sound cues is you know the the second component of that aim because you're going to be able to set up your shots with the angles if you know where your opponent is at all times so it, it's not just aim it's not just you know pointing and clicking uh and as you said you know players end up with the shotgun they can definitely turn it back around keep railgun away from the better player with the rail and there, there's just a lot going on with the map so saying it's just a rail uh rail heavy aim based map is not quite doing it justice all right, so let's so roll. Like, oh yeah, says. we're playing. Huh? There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, we're gonna go live right now. And uh, Jahar, why don't you take us away? Well, I'm eating muffin, but Rubik's Cube, it's going to be a rush for Mega Health, but it's going to be swooped, swooping in and getting the grab. Rubik's getting Mega Health. But it's all going to depend on who's on the right side for the railgun. And Rubix is just a little late to it, just coming around the corner in time to eat a rail slug to the face. So a bit of damage there, and Rubix is immediately on his back foot. And Swooped is in really good shape here. He has rocket launcher and rail, and has position for getting this armor, and he can move in. Now, another thing we didn't talk about was the Mega Health is on a uh, two-minute spawn timer on this one. Right. Look at this very careful move to try to get in on this yellow. Nice defensive nice play by Rubix. He misses the jump to yellow, though. So Swooped is still in pretty good shape. Oh. Go take a look. Rubix with 10 health, 10 armor as he stacks up ever so slightly. But now he's got to make a choice. He's really caught in the corner. You can see that he's just not sure where to go and uh, how to make his exit. 
he is able to very sneakily move around the map. And